Hey, spring has sprung. It has. Yeah. 621 specifically is when it starts, okay. for sure, officially. You, this evening? This evening. Well, then it's not quite spring yet. Well, we call it the first day of spring, okay. technically, I guess. Topic of the weather blog, though, you should check it out there. Uh, temperatures today, a little milder than they've been the past couple of days just because of all of our cloud cover. Here's a live look outside. Our 360 tower camera, overcast skies still for the time being. Looks like we're going to stay that way through the rest of your evening. By 8 p.m., temperatures dipping a few more degrees into the mid-70s. By 10 p.m. tonight, because of the cloud cover, once the sun sets, it's going to keep uh, any of the radiation from going back out into space. So temperatures aren't going to cool off so much. We'll drop only into the low 70s by around 10 p.m. Right now, still upper 70s in places like Georgetown. Lem Pass is 81 right now in Llano, 78 in Blanco. Upper 70s all along our eastern counties as well, 79 degrees in Bastrop. Cloudy skies in 78 out at Camp Mabry, 80 at the airport. Mostly cloudy skies there. A little bit of sun can do a lot on a day like this, and unfortunately, we didn't see a whole lot of it, so that's what kept temperatures right around the 80-degree mark for most of us through the afternoon hours. The dew point still in the upper 50s. We still have that more moisture that you can feel it when you step outside. And our southerly flow continues as well on the breezy side today, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Uh, they'll drop between 10 15 overnight and then for tomorrow again expecting another breezy afternoon. Satellite radar shows there's that very stubborn cloud cover all across the very center portion of the state for the time being. Again, it's going to stick around through the rest of the overnight hours, even build towards more of tomorrow morning. But we're already tracking our next system. It's sitting off the west coast right now. This area of low pressure is going to work its way into the upper Midwest uh, through Wednesday. That's going to bring a front a little bit closer to us, but not close enough to give us any good chances of rain, which of course we need. So as we go through Monday and Tuesday, this ridge that we're seeing right now in the upper levels of the atmosphere is going to stick around, breaking down just slightly as we get closer to Wednesday. You notice there's some of that energy associated with that upper level low that's going to move through North Texas. They could see some wet weather. There's that front drop in. Not quite going to make it into central Texas, though. That's where we're holding off on any sort of rain chances. Unfortunately, just going to keep that cloud cover pretty stubborn on Wednesday as well. And we go hour by hour through our forecast overnight tonight. The clouds stick around through early tomorrow morning. Better chance for some patchy drizzle to start out on your Monday. But by the afternoon hours, partly to mostly cloudy skies expected again. And to your Tuesday, looks like situation is going to be very similar. Starting out with a chance for some drizzle early in the day with mostly cloudy skies. And by the afternoon, partly sunny skies are expected. Tonight, 64 for your overnight low. A very mild night again. Tomorrow, right in the low 80s for most of us. 81 here in town with breezy conditions by the afternoon. Some of that patchy drizzle possible early. That's going to be the case both Tuesday and Wednesday as well, but temperatures in the afternoon a couple degrees warmer both those days. And into, next, into the end of this week, looks like temperatures aren't going to change a whole lot either. We are, though, tracking a cold front that could impact us next Sunday. We have a small chance for rain in right now.